Um, status demos to pics. Who's got demos? I, I can I can quickly show the changes I have been doing on, on the media. Okay, thank you. We'll do that. Uh, Antoine? Mm, yes. Cool. Jasmine, I don't think so. Nope. Anyone else? Okay, let's start with that. Um, so, Orchard one deck. So, did we merge anything? Uh, we merged this thing. Uh, prevent the usation null as tenant name. Yes, apparently, if you call your tenant null, N U L L. This one, it's not a string empty value, it's a tenant empty value. There is a special behavior which is that it won't start because this is a, a constant to mark the tenant as non started null in the YAML file. So now you can't call your tenant null anymore. Uh, that's kind of weird, but that was the case. Um, and that's it on Orchard 1, this only PR, uh, Orchard 2, ah, again, I should just copy paste something else otherwise it will just open at every time. This one should be faster. Smaller history. So this one, dev branch and the rest, seven days, what do we have? Jean-Thierry, Chris, so this was merge, adding Azure storage to operation, we talked about it last week. <coughs> um, Jean-Thierry is still working on, well, something new, and I think we merged it. Uh, this is to fix the fact that static files were always returned by the server and not um, responding a 304 when the last modified header was sent to the server. So because the embedded file provider that was used will just say that the date time was always the UTC now. So it's like the static file was always new for the browser and the browser will keep uh, requesting the, um, um, the files. And we saw that, I think, when we looked at the latest website um, this one. last week. So I hope you will fix his service with that new patch. Look at the trace network. You see static files. Maybe you know, not this one, but let's say this one. Yep, media. Media might be different. Media might be handled correctly, but some static files like the scripts, if they are local scripts or local CSS, um, yes, this one. And if you click on the link, so uh, SACE min, min JS, last modified, okay. And then if we go on another page, click. This one, you see response headers, response, 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 status code, uh, headers. Is it a response only? 200, okay. So it should have written a 304 saying, no need to do anything, keep your content locally. 
and not the 200 so that's the issue so this is fixing it um, what was I on here so that's this branch and it has been merged in dev somewhere we'll see um, so this is Chantier is work on this branch um, then then just put myself on user time zone uh, user time zone and so we found something interesting there was an issue with the caching of the user time zone so what we do here is that um, whenever whenever we render a page we look at the current time zone and the user time zone module will look for the current user and if if authenticated then give us the time zone of the current user and this time zone is stored in database and we don't want to query database every time for the time zone so it's stored in an i distributed cache because it's serializable we just store the time zone id and we'd want it to be cached for all the servers on the, the farm uh, the issue that uh, just my found is that it, the, the cache was not working for him it was always loading the, the, the thing from database and it's because we were registering the ad distributed cache as transient this could have worked if the default implementation was not recreating a memory cache for every instance i was expecting the distributed cache to just resolve the the ambient memory cache, iMemory cache, it, it's not the case, it's creating its own memory cache instance. So we had to register it as a singleton. Um, and this way, the, the instance of memory cache that is created in this class, memory distributed cache, is uh, hosted as a singleton. So that was a bug, interesting. That affects everything that was using the iDistributed cache. But it was not in, impacted the dynamic cache module because the dynamic cache module is on, is using its own implementation of um, a distributed cache or a cache storage so that you can have dif dif different implementation for this thing and the cache uh, itself and the html cache fragments mm, these are questions add a mini cache yes Um, so this has been merged user time zone feature and now a uh, big change because it shows some flaws in the way we were handling users now there is a different uh, way to create users well it's, it's not a different it's different so when you create a user then there is a second step to set the password by default there is no password or a random one but you have to go to edit password to edit the password of a newly created user and the flow for the standard user is if you create a, a, an account you don't set the password you don't have to set the password you can as the super user but the user can just go to um, the reset password page and uh, reset his password with the email or you can force a specific password if you want but you don't have to um, and that's a change that had to be done because because to create an account with a password we need to know the password when we create the account the account has to be created in the controller and the controller doesn't know if doesn't have the password because it's coming from a driver so that's the issue um, yep and that's a new Way to do it but that has been merged and now it works that's good uh, this is the fix from chantieri about the, the date time and you will see that before last modified utc now by default but if the location exists now it will take the look the the time of the assembly because the the document is embedded in the assembly um Jasmine Antoine culture settings so Jasmine working on culture edit, editing the culture and selecting the default culture um, Antoine working on password feature resetting the password um, this is lots of tests to fix Travis and not just fix Travis at first it was just to fix Travis which didn't have the latest SDK but now it's also to have only a single um, a CI to do Linux and um, and Windows uh, 
so um, Alex mentioned that there was an issue because we are removing Mac testing, but I think it's fine as long as it works on Windows. As long as the CI passes on Windows and Linux, we are we should be good to go. At least it should be faster to get builds because Travis Forest is, is slow and um, not very stable. Um, so this one is waiting for Abveyor to actually deploy the new 2.1.300 SDK on both Linux and, and Windows. They did it uh, yesterday on Windows, but not yet Linux. So I'm waiting for it. And the script is also simpler than before. Um, so one script for Abeyor will run Linux and Windows and build the Docker images and run the functional test on both Windows and Linux. So that should be good. Uh, that's it. It's not merged yet. I'm waiting for um, Abeyor to get the latest SDK. So Sipke fixing viewers and renaming content type deployment step. It was a PR that was merged to rename this type and fix some view errors, probably because of the type names. Updated request limit template event handler to support requests from keys and null PR from Sipke. This is not the best option, but it works. So so far we'll take that and. Um, We'll see for a better one later. So this is to be able to type a request that form that keys to list the, the the elements from a form that has been sent from Liquid. This is from Jean Thierry to change how I update model is passed across components. I update model being actually a controller in most cases. Uh, fixed use case when resolving a line variable or a given service type, and he added a um, unit test that shows the issue. The issue being that if you have the same service registered with different scopes, that was an issue in the way we were um, cloning the main container to each tenant. So he fixed that and created a unit test to ensure it's all good. Um, time field from Antoine, so a new time field, and it has been merged. It was just missing this entry in documentation to list that the time field is available and what properties are on that, and also what um, view model is using. So now we have a time field. Time field being um, a time without time zone. So whatever time you put inside, it will be rendered as is without being converted to the local time zone. So instead of a moment in time, it's just a time, three o'clock. Three o'clock is three o'clock. Wherever you are, it's three o'clock. Um, password feature, registration, what is that? Um, reset password, still, I assume. Um, this one, Jean Thierry, we'll see what's the branch. Antoine working on .NET new, .NET space new space templates. Uh, we'll see how it looks like if we have a demo. Um, this is actually working on the tenants branch to make tenants management at the host level possible. Permalink. This is using site.base URL, displaying site.base URL. We'll see what it looks like on the auto route editor. This is to edit created UTC. So many branch from Antoine. Um, SQL query admin now fix jQuery on SQL query admin. So not yet merged. Owner editor, like it's the 10th branch from Antoine that we have to merge. The 11th, Bootstrap 4 updates. We have to comment that. Uh, Bootstrap switch editor. Okay. We'll see after the demos. Um, hosted service from Jean Thierry, a little bug. Um, make SQLite the default SQL provider. So we filed an issue, we talked about it last week. Uh, and uh, I haven't looked at it and or tested it. Should be easy to merge. The idea being that by default, when we're going to set up, SQLite is selected and there is no tenant text box. And then we select something else, then we see the tenant text, sorry, the tenant, the prefix text box. Because there is no reason to use a prefix if you use SQLite, you can't share the SQL Lite database, so there is no reason to have a prefix. Um, that background tasks, tenants from uh, Jean Thierry, and updating the Netcore app to one 
um, branch with I assume the versions, the good versions, there should be more versions. So what is that? I didn't know about it. I thought it, you had to put dot app. But I saw an error message this morning on an app that has that, so I didn't know about it. Interesting. I have to check. Um, culture from uh, Jasmin. And a new branch with a new PR to support anti forgery tokens when you're using uh, fragment caching, dynamic cache. That we'll have to test. Okay, questions. Then Demos, Antoine, <coughs> Mathias, we, who wants to start? Jasmine, Demo? No, not this week. Okay. Mathias, you start? Yes. Okay, you can share. Let's see. If you see my screen, this is this button. Can you see my screen? Not yet. I can see. It works. Good. Okay. I just wanted to, to show what I what I have known before creating the PR. Is I have made some changes to the layout in the grid. You already saw so dark, I think. Mm -hmm. And well, for those who, who follow the issue on GitHub, they saw that, but otherwise nobody saw that. So you can, yeah. Uh, I made some changes to the layout, to the sizes and margin of the thumbnails, and I enabled the multiple selection of thumbnails, the buttons to, to invert selection, select all, select none, delete several images, added inline buttons to to rename media items or delete them. And you can now move images by dropping to a different folder. Wow. Can you move multiple images to a folder? Yes. When it will work, okay. In this case, there is a already a, a, the same file in the in this folder, so there is an error, and you can move several images. To select multiple, you hit Control. No, because that oh, you will click, be okay. a problem. That will be a problem in mobile. So you click, it's selected. So it's not it's not right click it's just left click so if you left click on left another click. one that's so weird it, it will it will work this way on mobile so this is why I did this you click it is unselected and if you click again it is selected yeah I think I don't like it I personally I I I, I feel it will be an issue for uh -huh. most users because when you click some to something to edit it or or to delete it, I don't know, and then you will have, have actually another selection and you don't realize. I understand the mobile issue, and maybe on mobile it should be this way, when it's a touch yeah. screen, but when it's touch event. But with the click, I would say just reset the selection and use right click or control to multi select. That's my opinion, I don't know what the others think, but. One more issue with that is that I made the, the inline buttons are, uh, they appear on hover. Okay, so and with the touch screen, how does right, it work? Yes, when, I, when you click, okay, it stays there. They are fixed there. Buttons and Can you, so yes. on, on mobile, usually, yes. so what I see is that if you tap a long time, then it opens the multi selection. Yes. But that is quite difficult to implement, I think. Mm -hmm. I get it, okay. Right. 
but then I will just I will just keep the if it's I, possible I to to detect it's a touch. If it's a touch, then it's multi select. Otherwise, if it's a click, then it's just select. I I assume this should be easy to do. Maybe I will try. Thank you. And I added to some uh, filter. Okay. This is for the local view. Okay. Good. Yes, it is only local. No, it doesn't go to the server. That's okay. And uh, I added a toggle to between small and large. Okay, that's the. That's not a very good choice for the, the icon, but that's okay. We can fix it. Yes, uh, I struggled with that because yeah, I, I used a different icon before, but I, it yeah, was I get it. confusing with this one. Which is a list view, okay. Between list and grid view, so I was not sure what to use. Finally, I decided to use this. Okay. Um, I added a, <clears throat> a drop over light to, to enable the. Okay. Well, the the feature was there. You you could you can drop images here and they are uploaded, but they, there was no indication to the user. That okay, that's nice. You can do that. Mm. Super nice. Mm -hmm. um, well, the the folder you are on is stored on local storage and the size of the thumbnails. So when you go to a different page and go back, you are in the same. Oh, good. In the good. same folder you worked before. That's good. And uh, I added some changes too to the media editor. Uh, you have here the same toggle. And you have this indication that it was not there before. When when you use it, uh, when you have used a media item in a content item, and the media item is delete. Mm -hmm. There was no indication that the, the link was broken. Now the, the user can see that it's broken. And uh, I added to a uh, table view. Beside, uh, you have the view and uh, table view. And the, the, the feature, the functionality is the same. You can drag and drop. And I added to um, upload progress indicator. I will demo. So now, when you drop several images, there is a progress here. So you can see. And if you have multiple files, can you upload? Yes. Can you? Oh! Beautiful. You can hide it yeah. and show it. And in case it, there is an error, I will Interesting. trigger an error here. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a warning. You can dismiss the, the, the warnings or the record them. Okay. And, and that's it. That's very good. You're the new owner of the media now. Good. You were <laughs> already, but now you improve. You can do everything. That's very good. The, uh, you can switch. Uh, I forgot to say that I added to the, nice. the the sorting a sorting option for the yeah. images. And if you leave the the page and you go back, it's still in table mode. I yes, I think so. Uh, I <laughs> no sorry. Yes, it's stable one. Okay, good. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah you're still at 3G, so it's slow, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, good job, Jazz. Thank you very much. You. The, 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 um, there are a lot of little details, like the icon or the yes. buttons, but that's, you have all the feature there. I'm mm -hmm. sure people will can do suggestion or point you to screenshots of UIs they like, like uh, like the top, the toolbar, uh, like the icons for the uh, small, big view. We can we can work on that. You made the hardest part, so changing icons should be very easy. And uh, yeah, also the UI for the multi-upload and the, it's it's not it's nice, but I'm sure we can find something much better. Uh, 
Mm. Okay, so now we can iterate over that. I, I, that's a very good improvement. I love it. What would be awesome, but maybe it's too early, would be to have a few functional tests uh, because yeah. this this must be very very uh, uh, fragile. That yes. if we change something, some simple JavaScript, then it breaks something else, and we can't. And testing it is very cumbersome. Um, yeah, so maybe we should have some functional tests on that. Better functional, yes. Um, did you see what, what was done already for functional tests? Where to put them? And yes, but I, I didn't merge it yet, so I I didn't test it. That's okay. I just well, so I like when the, the, when we have time, because it will be a big issue otherwise. Yeah. Don't trust me. This will be broken many times, and we yeah. just f f will figure it out uh, like weeks after. Sure. So that's why at least the simple things like listing, moving, adding a file should work. Deleting a file, things like this, because otherwise people will complain, um, and for reason. Um, okay, very good. Thank you very much. I know it's a pain to have the layout work correctly with those long file names and different sizes of images. Some are tall, some are large. So that's a very big issue. Good job. Like it. Um, great. Something, nothing else, Matthias? What's your next step? I'm planning to add to add some small features, and then I I will add the functional test. Okay. And I create the PR. There is something that you could work on, and that would be awesome. Something from Orchard One, uh, and I'm very proud of the feature. This is editing the the files, editing the images oh. in the media. So you have also so the edit you can change the file name, but if you click edit, you can edit the image like Photoshop, but online. When you can where you can crop and and resize and zoom or change, apply filters and things like this, all in JavaScript. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. One. No. I can show you later or try try out the one and try to edit an image. And then you will see you can edit in JavaScript the, the image like Photoshop. So that might be that will be very useful. And Umraco does something very clever also uh, that will be interesting related to editing mm -hmm. image. This is when you resize an image or you want to zoom an image. What they do, they just uh, they can store fake images which are actually um, um, conversions on op or operations on the original image. Like for instance, you can have an image with three people inside, but then create a zoom on one face of one of the, the people, and it will create a new image zooming on the first one. But actually, if you you it, it's you can still change where it's zooming. So you it just it's storing the image and the filter to get this image. I I, I can show you or look at Umbraco what do this is very nice what they do uh, for that. Um, yeah, I, 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 we can talk offline about it, but there are many things to do that will make it uh, awesome. Great. Okay. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I, we could merge it. If you create the PR, we could merge it. Then we can work, work on the, the little details for the icons and making things even better. Okay. Good. I don't have the chat for me. Can you see my... Oh, no, maybe it works. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Antoine? Well, Matthias, you should try with the uh, files that not that are not images, like PDF files, Word document, just to see if it works fine. That an icon is is used and not the image. Didn't work, Antoine. I have to start again. Uh, okay. Another record. I'll demo it next week. Uh, okay. Just to demonstrate the created UTC. Okay. And show the 
uh, what I've been able to do uh, for documentation uh, about uh, tabs, code tabs. Code tabs. Oh, um, yeah, we talked about it. Uh, oh, I, see, I remember with different examples. Uh, okay. I will show a link. Uh, uh, I will find I tested uh, an animated GIF about the result. Uh, you paste it already? I can't see. No. I'm trying to edit it. Or liquid. C sharp liquid, yeah, it should be called resolution. Yes. Well, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, it's whatever you want. I see. Mm, yes. Okay. Nice. So this is in your theme, in your uh, material theme. Okay. Yes. We need to we switch. To material UI, so, uh, yeah, that, that's okay. We'll go to that at some point. You have it running on your instance. We need to move it to, uh, to our server mm, with our domains. Um, okay, soon. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, no other demos. Um, what else? Topics, topics, topics. Um, so there are many PRs on waiting to be merged, but we usually merge them in time. Uh, what we will focus on is to ship uh, beta 2. And for that, the main PRs we are waiting for uh, are um, the tenants one and the net corrupt one. Tenants one because uh, because this is what is blocking Jantieri to work on net corrupt one and finish it. Uh, so we need to actually this is just we need to merge tenants before we can merge net corrupt one. So why there will be too many, too many merge conflicts. So that are the most Im the most blocking ones. The other ones they will be easy to to merge. There is no more issue. Uh, with that, we just have to try it and see it works. Should be good. We might not merge them all. That's fine. Lots of bugs triage for beta two will be pushed to a beta three, and um, we'll go on. It's just that we need to release something now that we have to point one, and people have been waiting for our beta two for a long time. Um, so that's the current status. Um, also, we need to go to two point one to make bids faster and orchard faster and everything faster. Uh, should be good. Um, questions? Hey Sebastian, um, what did you say about 2.1? I missed the last bit. My internet kept dropping. That we need 2.1 to get faster builds and faster I mean, runtime. When, when are we looking at releasing it? When Jartier is ready with his branches. Could be this week, could be next week. Okay. And then try to make releases more often. Mesh to master more often. That should be easy after that. We were just waiting for net, net to one to be able to release. But now it, it should be faster. There's no reason to, to wait too much. Good. OK. So no questions, no topics. Then um, end of the meeting. See you on Thursday or next week. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.